evening team, welcome to your hit PM class with me, Michael, and Sport Aberdeen. Workout for tonight. We are going to be working the same work to same rest the whole way through the class. Each round has got three exercises, which we're going to repeat twice. So that gives you six exercises in total. Each set of six exercises is going to be a little change over in between as well, so a little bit of change of movement, a little bit of change of intensity and what we can get out of the movement. I'll also tell you a little bit different in each exercise, whether it's meant to be a bit more muscular endurance, a bit more strengthening. That just basically means whether you want to go higher or you want to stay lower in that intensity level and focus on that more conditioning. Because although it's hit, we do want to hit across a broad spectrum of our own fitness. If there's any injuries or illnesses, just make sure you taper down any exercises you need to. If there's anything urgently pressing, give me a shout. All the things you need for the workout is a water bottle and you'll just need some floor space as well. A lot of the stuff is just going to be done in space, so pretty much that six feet radius around your body, so that two metres, we're all good with that distance now. Uh, hopefully you are. <laughs> and uh, we'll get underway. So we've got about five minutes to warm up with, just getting the body moving, getting the heart rate up. And then from there what we'll do is just change up into the actual workout itself. So if we're all ready to go, let's grab ourselves a bit of free space. And then we'll tap on the timer. There we go, I'm going to pop it up, it was a wee bit quieter today. Right, so from that space, just going to go a nice lateral rotation, side to side. So opening up across the body and lifting up through the heel. There we go, keep the arms nice and relaxed. And then what I like to do is plant your feet down and still rotate through. So a bit more through that upper spine now, that T-spine area. There we go. Perfect. Go some arm circles forwards. Because we are going to be down the floor pushing and pulling the body. And then arms go backwards. There you go. Open up nice and tall with that. Perfect. Open and close with the arms next. So you want to open up across the body. Squeezing it nice and close. Three, two, and one. Let's go into the legs. So like heel to bum. And just keep them nice and steady. So what this is going to do is just build up that knee. Open up the hip a little bit. By stretching those quads dynamically. There we go. Perfect. Quite a low impact workout. So work a little higher impact on the warm up. We'll just go a little jog onto the spot now. So just in that single space. And just lighten the toes. You can keep, keep the arms nice and relaxed as well. Chest uplifted, nice and proud. There we go. Add a little agility to it, so a little jog to one side, a little jog to the other. So about five or six steps either way. A little bit more athletic with the arms now. So 90 degrees, hands like blades, cutting through the air. There you go. Perfect. Three, two, and one. Let's go down to floor and then we'll just focus on some plank with arm lifts, alright? So hands underneath your shoulders, feet wider than hip width and just arm lifts up to shoulder level. Keep the core braced and that gaze between your fingers and forwards. Try not to look down at toes, it's going to pull your spine out of line and start to work you a little bit differently than what we want. Goes to keep that core controlled and the arm lifted up to shoulder level. Three, two, one. Hands under shoulders. Mount climb those knees up to chest. Bring them up nice and high so that you're trying to let, uh, let the wind leave you every time you're pulling up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Have a lie down on your back. What I want to do, heels close to the bum hands on the floor and glute bridge up. So from that lying down back position, press your hips up through to the ceiling. Nice high, big engagement through glutes and squeeze up and through. Ace job team. Keep them nice and controlled. We'll go one more and now I want you to go single leg. One foot lifts up, press up and then down. So a little bit of conditioning to go with the warm up. Getting all these big muscle groups, as well as the little ones, engaged. One more press, switch your legs over. 
Loop bridge up and back down gently. Think a bit more powerful as you lift up and then winding on the way down. Squeeze that heel right through the floor. Three, two, and one. Sit yourself up and take your heels out a little bit. Lean back and Russian twist side to side. So you want to be a little lower than that bony bit of your hip and rotate across the body. So fire up the core. Gonna go five more seconds. Just a little roll side to side. And hold there. Up you come to standing. I've not done a lot of the bigger movements when we do through the warm up. I like to focus a little bit smaller because we've got a lot of big movements through the hip. Grab yourself a drink, quick little reset for the body and then I'll go through the workout. So, first set is a bit more conditioning. You've got three exercises. One is prisoner squats, hands behind the head as you squat. Number two is push-ups, either knees, knees under hips or onto toes. And then your third one is going to be crab toe taps. You've got even work to rest ratios. So just stay nice and consistent as you're moving team. No need to rush these ones. Think of it as an extended warm up. Prisoner squats, arm behind the head, squat down and up, off we go. So you want a slight turn out the toes and that chest up. Pick a point for your eyes to follow and pull back and down on those shoulders. We've got 25 seconds here. As we're going to work it on the whole way through. Ooh. Down and rise. Push knees apart, a few more seconds. Hold there. Next one, push up, down the floor. 25 seconds work to 25 seconds of rest. So right now it'll feel like quite a long period and that's fine. All I want to do is quality of those movements. So if you think you can for 25, you can go on those toes, control that core. Five seconds, the timer will go. Off you go. Nice control push up, down and up. Pull back with those elbows, pull your chest forward of your wrists. Whether that's down on your knees, or whether that's your knees under your hips, chest pulls in front of the wrists, and what that's going to do is send your elbow back the way, rather than your elbow getting sent forward and you're hurting your shoulder. Perfect, all there. You can stay down the ground. Next one's crab toe tap. So you're going to be in this nice compressed position and you're going to tap hand to toe. The higher you kick the leg, the more work you're going to make for yourself. So find your level, find your work. 10 seconds, all right. Plenty of time to reset. And then we'll get another set on this one. Off we go. So your most challenging one is to get that leg to full extension, kick it the toe. Keep our chest up, keep those hips down. If you want to take it down a little, just aim to rotate the toes more. If you're struggling with those wrists, what to do is just go the foot lifts. Yeah? And hold there, 25 seconds. Back up to standing, prisoner squat happens again. There you go. You know the exercise a little better now. You've done the movement and know what it feels. Most restrictive, most work. You can up your tempo here if you want to. Take it a little more wild. Now let's go back. Now up hill. Sit back into those heels. Big squeeze on those glutes as you stand up fully, nice and strong. Couple more reps. Oh dear, nice job. Back on the push up again. Can you get that chest a little lower than your elbow? Typically, what I'd say to do is sort of restrict yourself at this motion here. Can you move a little bit deeper and aim a bit closer to floor? About a fist width of floor is goal level, all right? Get set up. Off 
we go. So you see those elbows pulling back, and then it pulls everything in together, almost like I'm doing a fly motion, bringing my hands in. That's how that push up should feel. That big pull and squeeze together. Big pull through the heel of the hand, drawing that chest in together. Tone and condition. 25 seconds, rest up. Next one's that crab toe taps. Heart rate might be up a little bit, sort of in that green green zone on your my zone. Maybe in a blue still, depending on how what your fitness is. Next one's gonna be crab toe taps. Again, whatever range suits you. Three, two, one, hips off, off we go. So you've got that shorter range. Or you've got that longer range. Opposite hand to foot's the only key I've got for you. Same hand to foot, I'll end up toppling over. And out there. One minute, alright? Take a full rest period, okay? So grab your water, get set up, ready to go again. I'll go through the exercise in 10 seconds. Good job. Right, that's your round one done. You've got three to go. Next one up, three new movements. Forward lunges, a bit more conditioning, mountain climber, and then an abdominal movement called a runner's crunch. So first one of that forward lunge, make sure you've got enough space in front of you. It's that big long step out, back heel then lifts off, and then it's down up, step back, alternating between the legs. 10 seconds, get ready in position. Off we go. Keep my chest up tall, step heavy into that heel. Knee touch the floor, then back in. It's a long straight out. Keeping that body fixed, rooted and tall. 10 seconds. Already? Perfect, up there. Mountain climber next. Down the floor, run the legs nice and fast. A bit more heart rate happening here. Make sure that body position is forwards over the arms. Try not to sit back into it and end up looking drunk with your bum in the air. Five seconds. Run those legs up, go! Now you want to be athletic here. So if your upper back starts to run slightly, that's okay. Because you're never going to be full upright when you're sprinting off the starting blocks. You want to be that slight rounded, drawing in the abdominals to get the right area. Woo! Nice. Runner's crunch. Watch me first. Legs full out, arms down, and then think like a mummy. You want to lift one leg up like a bicycle, and then opposite arm in a full setup. Okay. Not so much worried about the pull up, but that pull across. Off we go. Head does a full lie down. One arm up and sprint. More of a controlled abdominal exercise here. You're looking for that toe to be lifted as you draw the body in. Three, two, one. Woo. Forward lunges again, up you come. Both are feeling strong so far. Round two, set number two. Forward lunge to begin. If you want a little extra, twist over knee. Nice little kicker. Off you go. 
So as you go down up, you twist across the knee. You don't want to crush, twist away from the knee. You end up tipping yourself over. Only if you've got that core strong going to this one. You'll see me about falling over my first few. <laughs> Breathe, quick drink, mountain climb. Now I'm not giving you much opportunity marks out, but the ones I'm giving you, you've got 25 seconds to do it. Mountain climbers is one of them. Make sure this is your all out. Make sure this is your tank emptier. Three, two, one, rush. training happens on that smallest of portions that's where the true effect comes in so make sure you're taking everything now make sure you're smashing that drum let's go five more seconds how much more you got go 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 boom out there on to back runners crunch at 25 you need a drink drink up now after this one, you're halfway. Ten seconds. Let's take a lie back. Three, two, one. Runners crunch. Pull that knee right into your body as you come up dynamically to the pool. One minute, out there. Nice job guys, well done. Those on the live, hope we're feeling warm now. Those on the YouTube, hope we're feeling toasty. Okay, next one up. Three new ones again, and twice through. First one is narrow to wide squat. You've got two ways to get into this. You go narrower than hip distance, squat down up, step, step, down up, step, step, or you can go down up and jump into that range, all right? You will find that low bar taking a little bit more. Next one, we're gonna go hot hands and a full plank, and then you've got a side plank with some leg raises. So a lot of focus and the shoulder on those last two. Just watch how you're working. All right, 10 seconds. Narrow to wide squats, alternating in between. Two, one, off you go. So down up, jump. Option to jump, or you can walk in and walk out out. So one guys, keep going. Three, two, one. Woo! Legs, you feel a little bit toasty if you were hitting those jumps. Shoulder taps, that hot hands. So try and be fast with those arms lifting up now. Full plank position, same as mountain climb, but this time think with the arms. Three, two, one, go! So literally what it is, hitting the opposite arm, and it's that quick bicep curl. It's a reactive drill to get up. The floor is lava. Move those arms! Harder than that! Harder than that! And out there, yes! Side plank with leg raises. You can either do this on a full arm, or you can do it on the elbow. Looks like this on the elbow. Up, leg lifts up. Or you can do it off a full arm. We're gonna go one way the first set, the other way the second. So you'll feel a bit goofy. Off we go! I wanted a big 
challenge for that core balance and stability and I got it. <laughs> And up there. Oh. So one oblique down that outside, that inside that you had should be a little bit warm now. Starting to feel that lactic build up. Don't worry, next one we go back to legs. Narrow to white squats. Pop in between. Three, two, one. Let's see you Not too much focus on the jump, more focus on getting that depth. So drop down and up, move it across. Nice, well done, keep it going there. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. 25, shoulder taps, get ready for it. Ten seconds. There you go. Prep to go. Three, two, one. Get up. Last up. Go. Ten left. Get some team, get some! You gotta burn it to earn it! Wait, good man! <laughs> Two, one, go! Side plank again! Now you might be on your weaker side this time, I know I definitely am. My strong side didn't go that great, so I can imagine this being better. <laughs> Ten seconds. Feet go full out, that leg lifts up. Three, two, one, off you go. Ah. <laughs> Those core class warriors will find this easy as well. This is annoying. <laughs> Nice job guys, out there, out there, perfect, Woo. one minute's rest, you got three more exercises to go, twice through, here's where things get a bit fancier, we're going to tuck two on together and finish nice and fast, our first one is going to be prisoner squat plus a knee lift, so your hands go back, squat down up, then knee lifts up, all our eight knees on the squat. If you've got that okay, you can change it to a squat, rear lunge, rear lunge. Up to you which level you take in this, you go the lower one the first round, higher one the second. You got 10 seconds before we start. Prisoner squat plus knee lift, or prisoner squat lunge lunge. Three, two, one, off we go. So let's go down up, knee lift. If you want to pick it up a level, you want to squat, then lunge. So let's squat, lunge, lunge. I wanted to give you that conditioning one first, before you picked up in an higher intensity one. Woo! Up from there, one push up, oh, one reverse toe tap, Press I got that right, looks like this, push up down up, reverse toe tap, yeah, so it's that down dog, position after the push, five seconds, and then we can go, three, two, one, off you go, feet just a little wider than your shoulders, to make sure you're going to have that mobility to reach back. Stay strong in that press. Squeeze them up. Woo. Last 
last one. Plank on the elbows, pommel with the legs in and out. If you want, just walk them, otherwise jump them. Bum can go up a little bit for this one. So, scissor plank, but on the elbows. Five seconds. Down to the elbows, feet back, go. Keep jumping and out. Hips may natural lift up and that's fine. Ten left. Three, two, one. Nice. About to start again. About to start. Up you come. Ram ready to go. Ten seconds. Prisoner squat, knee lift. Prisoner squat, lunge, lunge. Up to you. Go! Tough on that switch. Should be the worst as those legs need to change over. And out. Push up to toe taps. Second to last exercise. If you want to try something a little different, half Hindu is a progression you can take. Feet go wider, hands push back, roll down, through, then push back. So it's that hip roll down and through. Off you go. So half end is an option if you want it. If not, it's that push up into toe tap. Both are going to do slightly different things. One's more shoulder, one's more chest. Oh. If you do it at home, feel free to give a variation on your third round. 20 seconds. Scissor plank. 10 seconds. Final exercise for the night. Make it your count. Make it your rest. <laughs> Make it count. 3, 2, 1, go. Doesn't need to be wide on the jump. Just needs to be active. Keep them legs bouncing. In out, in out, in out, in out. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yes, team. 10 seconds remaining. Go, go, go. Take it right the way through. It's all you now. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Well done. Up. And move yourself around. Take a minute, get some air back. Another day, another workout. Let's move around a little bit. And keep that heart rate coming down nice and gradually. Woo. Hopefully, all feeling a bit fitter after that one. A bit more active. Good. Once you're settled down a little bit, let's just start with going gently heels to bum. Just keeping that body up nice and tall. A light release in the legs. Good. Knee lifts up in front. Alternate in between. Excellent job tonight, guys. Fantastic work. Hands on hips, roll them round. A bit more conditioning than hip, but not always a bad thing. Other way around. Nice one. We're going to go toes, knees, shoulders, up. So down to toes, knees, shoulders, reach overhead. I was going to say head, shoulders, knees and toes, but 
It's a little bit like that, but the head's missed out and it's the sky instead. Just a little bit of movement. So you get the back cooling down, get the legs flushed, and keep the arms moving as well. Who knew we just started adopting the kids stuff. We'll do the hokey cokey next week. Be there for that. <laughs> Last one. There you go. We'll give it a roll side to side. And give it all a big shake off. Give yourself a massive hand to the team. Well done. Terrific work. Again, lean a bit more on that condition inside with the hit. But I'm sure you still got that heart rate. I still you got that work rate. Maybe second time around when you try it on YouTube, it'll be a bit tougher because you know what's coming. Excellent job tonight, team. You know where to find me. Any questions, comments, feel free. See you all next week. Pleasure, baby. Well done. Nice work.